the Royal Air Force was formed because the Army and the Navy couldn't actually defend the United Kingdom. So the primary role of the Royal Air Force is Air Defence Great Britain. Uh, and that's still carried out today. There's still uh, fighter aircraft at Lossiemouth and at uh, uh, Coningsby and actually down in the Falklands as well that operate on a 24-7 basis. So this is, this is an Air Force which has always had that, that background. It's also been at the, the, the cutting edge of precision effects at range. And that's a, the technical term for, in other words, being able to hit a, a small target a long way away in the interests of British foreign policy or, or our NATO allies or, or, or what, whatever is politically um, the right thing to do at the time. Uh, as we get now um, into the 100th anniversary, of course everyone's wanting it to go further. So the next generation Air Force, which won't see lots of new aeroplanes, it'll see lots of new technologies and lots of new uses, probably using uh, the same platforms. What's key to it is going to be how it adapts to cyber, how it adapts to uh, remotely piloted vehicles, uh, and the law is going to change around all of these. And the Royal Air Force will adapt and it will lead the world into its second century. We tend to think of the Royal Air Force um, in terms of, of the Battle of Britain. It's a wonderful movie. Uh, the Dam Busters Raid, again, another wonderful uh, movie, which in the 50s, 60s and 70s very much eulogised uh, uh, that, that sort of independent uh, and rather male-dominated organisation. And then, of course, in the, in the Cold War, we relied on the Royal Air Force for the, initially for the nuclear deterrent with the V-bomber force, and, and many people would have seen the, uh, the Vulcan to the sky, the Vulcan aircraft um, flying until uh, just a few years ago. What now is needed is the Royal Air Force to remember those things. They have to inform the future generation. So the Royal Air Force will be using key anniversaries um, to inspire a new generation in STEM, science, technology, engineering and, and maths, is where the Air Force is going. It's the leader in Western Europe in terms of bringing people in and giving them apprenticeships. That's the future of the Royal Air Force.